Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I work at a company called Pirosi. My company produces industrial robots for factories. But we're not a very big company in Japan yet, so I'm doing my best to lay the groundwork for our company's success. One day, I was visiting Dogoda Trading Company's office for a meeting. Dogoda Trading Company is one of the country's most prominent trading companies. We've been business partners for a while, and as usual, I was at their office to talk about our upcoming plans. When our meeting ended, this happened. Huh? Is that Odaira? Oh, hey, Mr. Hanataka. Long time no see. God, I was hoping I wouldn't run into this guy. This is Mr. Hanataka. He's the manager of the sales department. But he's a very proud person and always looks down on his clients. So, you came all the way to our company just to give a sales pitch. Man, being a subcontractor must be such a big hassle. Well, I'm not here to make a sales pitch. I had a meeting with one of the employees here and... Well, I bet you still tried to sell some of your products to us. You should be glad we put up with people like you. Huh? Well, I'm glad you guys are trading with us, but uh... Just work hard so you don't get cut by us. Remember, you can be replaced very easily. But you can't replace us! <laughs> Damn it, this bastard. Wait, I gotta stay calm. He is a manager after all. You're right. I'm gonna do my best to contribute to your amazing company. And thank you very much for your advice. Huh? Man, you're no fun. Whatever. Why wouldn't you even try to defend yourself? Have some dignity, man! Well, I guess when you're up against someone like me, you can't even argue back. Hmm... I'm sorry for not having any dignity, you asshole. Whatever, I gotta get back to the office and do some work. He always pisses me off. But I always tell myself to stay calm and respectful. I don't really enjoy being around Mr. Hanataka, but I usually don't have to interact with him. So I just have to make sure I stay calm when we meet each other out in the hallway. A few days later... Hey, Odaira! From now on, I'll be dealing with your company as well. I'm going to be at all of our meetings. Make sure you don't waste my time. Huh? Why are you here? Apparently, Dogoda recently had a shift in their company policy. Now managers have to be present at all business meetings with their clients. And from that day on, our business meetings were a disaster. And so, the robots we produce at our company are inexpensive, high quality, and... <laughs> huh? God, I can't focus at all! Can he not sleep and snore during our meeting? I'm trying my best to give a presentation here! No, uh, sorry about that. Odaira, could you please explain that part to me again? Sure, but please, try not to fall asleep this time. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna stay awake, I promise. Alright. Well, I'm glad you think I'm funny. But where were we? Oh yeah. Please take a look at page 3 of the... Wait, did he fall asleep again? Oh my god, someone please do this presentation for me! I can't take it anymore! And the following week... Hey, what is this proposal all about, Odaira? Huh? Is there something wrong with it? Yes, there is. You're turning it into your contractor. The font should be Times New Roman. What? Does the font really matter? And the proposal is otherwise pretty much perfect. No, it isn't. You have to resubmit it in Times New Roman. If you want me to read your stupid proposal, you have to follow my rules. That's common sense, isn't it? I don't think so, but... And the letters are too small. I can barely read this thing. You, go fetch me my reading glasses. What? God, I wish he was asleep right now. And besides, that's the first time you've mentioned this stupid rule of yours. I think he might be trying to impress the subordinates that are there with him. But he keeps on bringing things up that have nothing to do with the contents of the proposal. And he often made mistakes that we had to clean up after. He was just a pain in the ass! And the other day? Hello, Mr. Hanataka. We made new pamphlets for our new line of products. And I thought you might want to take a look. I'll just leave this here. Whoa, whoa, don't leave garbage on my desk, you idiot! This belongs in the trash can. But anyway, can't you see I'm busy? Leave me alone, please. What?! We worked so hard on that pamphlet. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I've been holding my anger and frustration in until that point. 
But I'd had enough of dealing with Mr. Hanataka! What? You want to say something? You've got something to say to your contractor, huh? Come on, say it! No, please forget it! <laughs> I thought so. You're just a stupid subcontractor. You can't argue back against us. Damn it! Wait, I have a good idea. I'll show you just how much power I have. A few days later, for some reason, Mr. Hanataka invited me to grab dinner with him at an expensive Japanese restaurant. I didn't want to go, but I had something I wanted to talk about with him. So I unwillingly decided to go. This is a pretty nice place, isn't it? I love eating here. Yeah, I agree. It feels very traditional and luxurious. I bet you can't afford to eat here on your own. I can just say that this is a business expense and have the company pay for it. Oh, that's nice. Good for you. But you shouldn't waste your company's money like that. Shut up! I don't need you to tell me what I can and can't do. But anyway, you want to keep on dealing with us, right? Then pour me a glass, would you? Fine. Here you go. Good. Hmm, that wasn't a bad pour, Odaira. You did a decent job. I bet you do this every day to your contractors. Yeah. <laughs> ah, man, working for a big company is the best. I'm so glad I went out of my way to get a job at this company. And this went on for hours. He kept bullying and making fun of me. But that's when... S sir I, I didn't know you were here. You should have said something, sir. Oh, you're the owner, aren't you? Wait, why are you calling him sir? This guy's just a subcontractor. You don't have to call him sir. Oh, come on, you fools. Bring out more food and drinks. And we should move you to a bigger room. It's fine. Calm down. I'm just here with this guy, so... B but we don't want to be rude. Nonsense! You're not being rude at all. Everything you served today was amazing. Oh, you're too nice, sir. Wait, what's going on here? Why do you keep on calling him sir? Who the hell are you supposed to be? Huh? Is something wrong, Mr. Hanataka? I'm just the CEO of Pirosi. I thought you knew this by now. Stop lying to me! If that was true, then how do you know the owner of this restaurant? Even I don't have any strong connections with her yet. So how can you practically be friends with her? W wait so you don't know who he is? Perosi is one of the world's largest companies. It's at least a few dozen times larger than Dagoda. What? There's no way he's the CEO of a company like that. Well, yeah. We have many branches around the globe, and we just passed three trillion dollars in net assets. Trillion? That's basically as big as Apple and Amazon. Well, we're not well known in Japan yet, though. It's probably because we specialize in B2B sales. No way! That's right. As the restaurant owner just explained, Pirosi is an international company that's very successful overseas. Our latest robot, Robot Bunta, has been a massive hit among children, and our sales have gone up even more lately. Robot Bunta is an amazing robot, and he can do anything from helping out with chores to listening to you vent. Mr. Odaira has been great to us, and he always comes here to have business meetings with his A-list clients. With his clients? That's because this restaurant is amazing. All of my clients walk out of here amazed and satisfied. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. What in the world is going on? I can't believe I was bragging about coming here often to this guy. And he even invested in us when we were struggling financially. This restaurant wouldn't be open today if it wasn't for you, sir. Well, I really like this restaurant, you know. I just wanted to do what I can to help. Oh my god, I can't believe I've been mistreating him all this time! Oh yeah, Mr. Hanataka? Yes? What is it, sir? I had something I wanted to tell you, and that's why I agreed to come out here with you tonight. What do you want to tell me? Please let it be good news. I found another trading company that I want to work with, so I'm thinking about ending our relationship with you guys at the end of the month. What? You can't be serious! If that actually happens, I'm screwed! Wait, what's going on? I thought you didn't need me. You said you could easily replace me, right? Well, I only said that because... I didn't know your company was that important and successful. What am I supposed to do now? If you cut ties with us now, we're going to lose a lot of money, and I'm probably going to lose my job as well. Well, that's unfortunate. 
Odyra? No, no, Mr. Odyra! Could you please renew your contract with us, please? I beg of you! What are you talking about? And let me just remind you that I'm not renewing our contract because of how you've treated me. I can't continue to work with people that would treat their clients like that in good faith. No way! That's not fair! I, I was just trying to show off a bit! And so, I cut all ties with Dogoda as I said I would. Apparently their CEO was furious at Mr. Hanataka and ended up demoting him. He knew that we were an internationally successful company, and that's why he had Mr. Hanataka attend all of our meetings. But I guess that didn't turn out the way he thought it would. Meanwhile, we were able to further cement our standing in the national market by partnering with a new trading company. We are working hard every day to release a new product that exceeds the popularity of Robot Bunta. I'm gonna keep working hard so I don't end up like a certain someone. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye.